So, movie review. <sighs> Man. Gotta go back to work tomorrow. It is what it is. Life is good. Be able to live with appreciate it. Because if we didn't have it, or uh, I kind of want to do this other show. I'm going to do this other show that I just watched. And maybe I'll say this one for later. It's a Paul Rudd. He's the main character. Main characters. It's called Living With Yourself. And I just watched it. I watched like the first half of the season yesterday. And the second half of the season today. Eight episodes total. It's about, uh, so it's about eight hours, I guess. Um... And it was fire. It's funny. It's interesting. There's sci-fi. There's comedy. There's love. There's um, there's parts where it makes you realize, like it just puts it life in another's perspective, right? So you so imagine. So what happens is spoiler alert, but he gets a. I mean, I won't like tell the whole thing, but he he. Um, he goes through this process that supposedly they, you, they rejuvenate all your DNA and stuff and you feel like a brand new person and fresh and you have all the memories. Well, the reason I say that because they well, really is they clone you and they kill the original you and they bury you and then the clone you who has all those memories and stuff thinks that uh, it's all hunky-dory and everything just, and you're rejuvenated and fresh and energized and you're not all fucked up and shit. So, um... But it's like an illegal practice and something happened and his the gas they used was bad and or not bad enough, I guess. And it didn't kill him. So he woke up um in a plastic bag buried in the ground. So he's like trying to get out. Um, or he gets out. And then he finds out you know, they meet each other and so there's this clone and the clone just wants his life, you know. And then he's like, man, like, oh, this clone's better than me because this and that. But now that I'm, it's everything's risked to leave, you you might lose everything to another you. It's like, oh, I really did love my life. I really did enjoy my existence and the day-to-day, -day, the, the mundane bullshit, everything. And part of all that wear and tear is what makes us. Right, because we having memories, but not feelings about those memories is not having lived through those memories is what made the difference between the new version, the new Paul Rudd and the old Paul Rudd. His name is Miles in the show. So, um, yeah, eventually the wife finds out. It's very interesting how they go about it because you just want to keep going. Like, because on the first episode they find out, and the second episode, um. Somebody else, it's just different people keep finding out. Like, probably on the third or fourth, the wife finds out. Um, and that's interesting. And and then and then whenever he gets so pissed off, one of them, the, the real one gets so pissed off because the other one's, like, faking being him, and he's, like, killing it. And he's getting promotions and shit, and he shows up and blows up a spot. And they and then the, so the clone tries to play that out, but that's his uh, brother, his twin brother. So, uh, yeah, but it's it's pretty interesting. It's pretty dope. It, it goes into question the, the logic and the theology and the idea and the what if of cloning oneself and a person who has memories but hasn't actually done those things. Um, so they don't really get irritated. Everything's new again. Which is cool, but if the person that you're in love with, the person you're with, if they're not feeling the same way, then it's like, oh, this is not even you. This is you, but it's not you. It's a different you. So they go through that. Um, you know, he tries to do what he finally wants to do. The other one is like just real clear headed and, and he's active and he's just like the best version of him. The other one's not necessarily the worst version, but it's just the realest version. But it, at first, you kind of, it's like, yeah, he's the worst version. They have to live with each other because he, you know. Um, 
Maybe I will spoil it, but they, they try to, because it came out like years ago, 2019. It's on Netflix. So then uh, they try to, you know, because the clone gets gets jealous because the wife obviously doesn't want to be with the clone. She wants to be with the real him. She's like, I don't even know you. Um, so you, I don't want to see you at first. And then, I don't know, something happens where eventually, like, she goes on a date with the new one, but it just isn't the same. Because it isn't him. Because he's too peppy. He's too happy. It's not. It's not him, right? Um, and so then the the clone gets desperate and he wants to kill the original. Um, and he starts pretending to be like the other one, like all sad and shit. It's like, yeah, I got this. But then he saw that the. He saw that the real one and her like were really in love. So then he was gonna try to kill himself the clone's gonna try to kill himself which is synchronicity to a personal very close person in my wife you know situation that they kind of went through recently and uh but he couldn't do it so he tried to get the other guy he tried to get the OG to do it but the OG couldn't do it the OG finally did do it after a long fight, but then he brought him back to life. And then, um, like one of the sides, one of the like uh, main stories that's like going on in the background is that they were trying to, she was trying to get pregnant and he was like, took years to get tested and finally got tested, finally figured out he was, he could have kids. Um, and at the end, you know, um, it's weird how it works out. I don't want to spoil it, but it works out. Everything works the fuck out in a weird fucking way. And it's it's hilarious. It's amazing. It's incredible. It's artistic. It's... Um, it really makes you think. It flows by real quick. Five stars, definitely. It's really weird how good of an actor Paul Rudd is. To be able to act with himself, because you know that he's not acting with nobody. Or maybe they have somebody there, but in a lot of parts, it's just himself. So he played two parts in this movie. So that's pretty interesting. It was fucking amazing. All right. Now, 